In this room, I've created something from razor sharp utility blades, a homemade grinder, sharp and powerful, that crushes onions and garlic in the blink of an eye. No electricity, no complexity, just pure power from the blades. Want to know how I made it? Subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and the secret is waiting for you to discover. You can easily find these utility blades at most hardware stores. But if you want to save some cost, you can also reuse old blades from broken cutters. Just make sure to clean them thoroughly to remove any dirt, rust, or leftover materials so they're safe and sharp enough for the project. I've got four blades ready here. To make them more suitable for the grinder, I've cut off all the extra snap-off segments, leaving just a single segment on each blade. This way, they're more stable and safer to use. You can either reuse the leftover pieces for other projects or simply discard them. It's up to you. I'll use a long bolt to stack and secure all the blades together. So they stay firmly in place. I'll cut off the flat end of the bolt to make it fit better for this build. I'll mount the blades onto bolt and place a nut between each one. This creates a small gap between the blades, allowing them to spin and cut more effectively. Be very careful when attaching the blades. Utility blades are extremely sharp, and even a small slip can cause injury. Always handle them with caution and make sure everything is securely tightened. Now, make sure to tighten the nut securely. This will hold the blades firmly in position and prevent them from wobbling or coming loose while the grinder is working.
when positioning the blades, make sure to align them in the same direction so they cut properly. The sharp edges should all face the same way for the best cutting performance. Next, I'll take a plastic bottle and carefully cut off the bottom section. I'm just going to keep the bottom part of the bottle and carefully trim away the excess. Leaving a ring that's about two centimeters thick. This will serve as part of the grinder's housing. Now, drill a hole in the center of the bottle's bottom. The hole should be just wide enough to allow the blade assembly to pass through and fit snugly. I'll use a small glass jar as a grinder container. You can put onions, chili peppers, or pretty much any kind of fruit or vegetable you want to grind. Now, place the trim bottom part of the bottle over the mouth of the glass jar. This acts as a cover to prevent the fruits or vegetables inside from flying out while grinding. Now, I'll connect the whole assembly to the drill, and just like that, the homemade grinder is complete and ready to use. I've got some carrots, onions, and chili peppers ready. Now, I'm going to get a test run and see how well the homemade grinder performs.
As I start the drill, the blades spin rapidly, creating a powerful vortex inside the jar. Next, the onions begin to break apart. The layers separate easily under the sharp blades, turning into soft, fine pieces. The moisture inside the onions releases slightly as they're chopped, helping the mixture stay evenly textured. The strong smell of fresh onions starts to fill the air. Then, the chili peppers enter the mix. The soft skin and seeds are no match for the fast spinning blades. In just moments, the peppers are minced into tiny pieces, blending perfectly with the carrots and onions. The vibrant red color from the chilies mixes beautifully with the orange and white, creating a colorful, well-blended mixture. The carrots, being the hardest, are the first to face the blades. Their firm and crunchy texture makes a distinct slicing sound as each piece gets chopped into thin, even slices. You can see the bright orange bits flying around, getting smaller and smaller with every spin. After just a few seconds of spinning, everything inside is finely chopped and evenly mixed. The result is a perfect mixture, ready to use for cooking, making sauces, or adding directly to your favorite dishes.